Welcome back. This is Crash Course number 15 for Source 2 Hammer. I'm Sam Nichimone Hihi Aliyubi. And uh, I want to go ahead and make sure that we finish off the rest of these gray boxes with a couple of uh, other ways we can apply materials. Yeah, here's the first way to do it. If I have, if I want to go ahead and I want to take this and apply it with Shift T, you might notice that the, the UV is different from the one next to it. Uh, one thing I can do is if I want to quickly drag this uv and texture and continue the tiling process there's a nice way to do it with this face selected i'm going to hold down alt i'm going to right click on this face and it's going to keep that tiling process going along uh, same with this one hold down alt right click and you can see that it's going to continue to push its way through which makes tiling a lot easier now another way i can do this is i can have a face selected and then i can hold down shift alt and right click on any face and it's going to go ahead and apply that as well. So shift alt right click and the same UV is going to be applied same scale, same dimension, making it really easy for us to continue uh, pushing this along. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and texture this floor. Uh, I have a floor here already uh, good to go. We're going to use this blended material linoleum dust. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to apply this and then same thing. Alt right click, alt right click, just quick ways to go ahead and get it down uh, and out here. We are uh, going to go ahead and uh, add a little bit of floor outside. I like this one in particular. Uh, let's see. This is, uh, oh, let's go tile. Uh, we've got plenty of tile floors, outdoor tile floor. Uh, let's go ahead and choose this one. And uh, same process. I'm going to have that applied throughout. Okay, so nice and easy way to continue to texture. Okay, now uh, one thing that I want to go ahead and do is I want to texture this and I want it to be consistent. So one of the nice things about uh, this tool that I'm about to teach you, this is going to be the, the fast texture tool. This is going to allow us to quickly go through. I have uh, here a cinder block uh, type texture that we're going to go ahead and apply. Uh, there's several variations. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use uh, the tall blue hotspot texture. Now, <clears throat> this is a hotspot texture, but, uh, you know, if I wanted to apply it and, and and, and here I am applying it. Uh, I can see that it looks okay, but there there's a lot of issues with this. And actually, I don't even, I'm gonna use this particular center block instead. I actually like this one uh, for this particular reason. So go ahead, let's highlight. If I press Shift T, uh, you'll notice that when it comes to these blocks right here, it doesn't really match up. Uh, so here's what I can do. I'm gonna grab these two faces and I'm gonna press Control G. Right now, Control G, what this is going to do is it's going to allow me, and this is the fast texture tool. Now, take a look. I have both of these faces. I can drag this up and down. I can drag this left and right. But I'm basically telling it on this face, or these two faces, this is how I want you to go ahead and cut it up. So I, I actually like it like this, because here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to line this brick up here so that it goes over the door frame. And if I look at this fast texture tool, if I do a good job and notice everything is on the grid, uh, that means that I'm going to be able to use a fast texture tool a lot more efficiently. See, everything's on the grid, and they're nice and even. Units of eight if possible. Okay, so same thing. Uh, on this, I'm going to grab these two faces. I'm going to press Control G. Okay, it's going to go ahead. It's going to have the same UV applied from the last one. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and just make sure I have it unwrapped. So that way, all of it is out. Good. We'll go ahead and close that off as well. Okay, now up here, now I, I take a look. I, I've got here bricks, and it looks like it's tiling here nicely. Uh, but now I have this, which doesn't look like it fits at all. So same idea. I'm going to press Control G. Uh, instead, though, I'm going to focus on just a small area, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to make it fit. Uh, let's see here. There we go. It is on. And I'm going to probably add a few more bricks just to make sure it looks like it matches. And on both sides, looks like we're good to go. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and close out the fast texture tool. So, you know, I could probably adjust this a little better, uh, maybe have it come more on this side uh, to make sure the seams match up. Uh, but uh, I don't have time to go through this continuously. But for right now, it is looking like those bricks are matching up. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to do the rest of this like we have here. This particular side, maybe I don't use the whole wall. Maybe I only use part of it. Okay, all the way up. Looks like uh, they're matching. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, up here, uh, go ahead, press Control G. Let's go ahead and uh, try to match this up. 
hey we'll put a window frame on this but for right now i am just making sure that these seams are matching up and they're good to go okay so fast texture tool really powerful way uh, of going through this quickly okay i can uh, adjust exactly what part of it that i want and uh, by doing so i'm able to quickly get through and uh let's actually let's shorten this a little bit you can get through this and uh, really do a great job of making sure that everything seems like it's it's matching and there's nothing that seems off at all all right so i'm gonna go ahead uh, i'm gonna quickly uh finish out the rest of this fast texture tool and uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and gauge it for right now i could spend more time uh but for right now i'm just really worried about that vertical alignment Make sure it matches up. There we go. And last wall. Okay, you know, just put this whole thing here. And uh, you know what? With this wall, probably a, a good thing to do, maybe split this wall up. So let's go ahead, take this edge, this edge, press V, okay, and then press Control G on each of these faces after selecting it. And uh, now on the inside, okay, we have here uh, something that looks like it's uh, put together correctly. Right? You've got bricks up here. These bricks are lining up uh, on the outside. Right? We can uh, go ahead and uh, we can take this and we can continue to do the same thing. Press Control G and let's just quickly line this up. And like I said, I'm just gauging this for now for time purposes. Uh, to make sure that we don't go over what I would like us to finish at. Okay, and then this one, uh, oh, I'll actually like that. Select these, press V, and then let's go ahead, press Control G on each of these to just give it a much better look. And uh, so far, all right, we're, we're, we're doing a great job with uh, keeping the texture and this layout consistent. Okay, now I, I'd love to see uh, what other uh, types of ways you can use Hotspot. Uh, so uh, continue. I've had uh, people show me their progress pictures. I love seeing what other variations you may come up with. Um, for this, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're just going to find a brick texture. And we're going to just do a world apply for this one. So we'll go brick. <clears throat> okay, when I mean world apply, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and just apply. Let's see here. Let's go with this one for now. And I'll press shift T and I'm just going to go ahead here, align it to the grid since it's a repeating one for now. Uh, I like a little trim as well. Okay, so for a trim, uh, I'm gonna select this trim. And uh, for this trim, we've got here the material trim that is, uh, let's go with stone, I think it's stone trim. Can go ahead and use this, put a nice uh, stone on it, align to grid. There we go. All right, and the last one. <clears throat> okay, this right up here, I've got another way to paint this. I'm going to use this concrete uh, for now. Okay, uh, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and press Alt T. We're just going to hot spot it just to quickly get this out there. Now, uh, I am going to go ahead and actually use a technique here to paint this a different color. So, although I like this concrete, I don't have a blue concrete, uh, but I can go ahead and tint this. Select the object, Alt Enter. I'm going to go here to color and I'm going to select here a tint that I think works best. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and we'll tint this a little bit bluish. I'm going to try to match this color here. I can use uh, the eyedrop picker too if I want uh, to try to match it better. Uh, but for right now, all right, that's looking pretty solid. I I've selected this and notice the trim in here is connected as well. So it tints everything in that mesh. If I didn't want that trim uh, uh, to be uh, tinted, okay, you just have to make it its own mesh. So let's say I don't want this. Press Alt N, five, Alt Enter. Okay, here's a color. Let's just go ahead and put it back to its normal color, white. <clears throat> and now I have here that concrete trim painted blue with this uh, dome that has been hot spotted for now. We could probably uh, use a better hot spot, but for time constraints and purposes, we have now finished out uh, the remaining part of the materials. I hope you guys have found this to be useful. All right, uh, have a great day. and We'll see you guys in our next crash course.